Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Virgo. Hi Virgos, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs as well as the cross watcher of the Virgo. And you guys are last, not by any means, because remember, save the best for last, I guess is what it is. Uh, my daughter is a Virgo, so I would never intentionally leave any sign out. It's just every month, somebody's gotta be last. You have hope, hanging on to hope. You guys are the high priestesses, high priest of the zodiac, I guess you would say, right? And um, Virgo is the hermit in the tarot deck, but really you guys have that energy of just sort of all knowing. And you know, the reason why a lot of Virgos have, you know, what could be anxiety is because they are able to tap in and see all of the thousands of millions of different things that of, of, of ways that something could happen or not happen and so it's overwhelming for them and it's anxiety out and they overanalyze and they overthink and they want to be in control you know Virgos love tasks and they love like being able to solve things puzzles and such right and um, they're very intellectual but they're also highly highly intuitive and they don't like it when they can't figure something out look at that you have mystery they don't like it when they don't know something because they tend to know it all. It's kind of reminds me of an aqua, like Aquarius, like me. We know it all. And like when we don't know it all and we don't know what this is, we're like, what? what is this? I'm sorry, I, what is this? I can't see it. Are you joking? It's a joke. Something's wrong. <laughs> something's, <laughs> something's, <laughs> something's not right. I can't see it. Are you kidding? All right, let's get the Moonology cards going for you guys. And I apologize if it starts to get loud. The landscapers are coming right around this corner over here and I'm trying to beat them. So let's hope we can. Virgos. Today's actually a new moon that I'm filming this on, 818. This is a new moon and I believe Leo. Holy shit, holy shit. As I said that, look at what your freaking card is. It's new moon. A new start is coming. <clears throat> are you freaking kidding gee it's like I'm psychic <laughs> okay so as you guys can see it's the new new <clears throat> and wow now all of a sudden they're trying to cut me off <clears throat> so wow this is incredible a new start is coming something that you guys were unsure about is about to begin and i just feel like it could possibly happen not the way that you have expected it to and that's a problem but that's part of the mystery and let's say surprise you have the queen of pentacles comfort this is taurus virgo capricorn energy sitting in your place of peace and balance it's really important for virgos especially virgos libras signs that overthink gemini's all air signs basically Scorpios too, um, to be in this place of peace and comfort because if you don't quiet your mind and your mind wanders and goes crazy, it, it will reflect in your reality, right? So it's very important to always be in this place of balance. Namaste. Seven of Swords, theft. Some of you may feel like something was robbed. You Something got taken away from you. Whether it was a business opportunity, whether it was... Uh, a particular I don't know maybe like someone so your man or your woman or whatever right but really we don't want somebody that can be taken from us because if you're if you're mine you're mine nothing can my shit can't be taken by somebody else because it's mine so if somebody took your man or woman then they want yours to begin with is, is the point you guys have death angel of transformation some of you may have lost a family member and that's the theft thing here, feeling like you were robbed of that from them. That's what it feels like, because it feels like it's a spiritual thing, like somebody in the spirit world, but they watch over you right now. Like they, they are literally part of your spiritual team right now, like at your side. It was a transformation of energy, yeah? They didn't leave your side, their energy just, it, it transformed. It's also a transformation of you, a transformation of what you've been through it's it's like the metamorphosis from caterpillar to butterfly king of cups counter scorpio pisces so number one some of you have a counter scorpio pisces in the picture number two it could be somebody that's really in love with you no matter what their sign is and they want commitment it could be very sudden that this person falls in love or maybe they fell in love in one split second but kept it to themselves for a minute
because he's not doing anything right he's sitting there just adoring this person he's not coming forward he's not putting effort you have the wheel of fortune waiting for the right time and the ace of swords communication and a breakthrough i mean look at the sword it's like a breakthrough it's like ah oh, the moment of i think it's also communication too it's something breaks the silence when the wheel turns it brings change i mean hello you did have a new start is coming new moon this is that new start coming it's bringing in all this great change some of you are seeing fives because fives indicate change some of you guys are seeing i feel like sevens too seven is like a lucky number it's very jupiter-ish yeah jupiter and it's it's the sudden unexpected and it's like expansion you know jupiter is a planet of expansion if you give jupiter a cent what if it gives you back a million fucking dollars honey you never know there's some kind of communication here, but there's also a breakthrough. But the communication could be the breakthrough. I feel like I'm repeating myself, and I apologize if I am. The magician. Manifesting it. It being manifested with the with the third eye. You guys have to be careful because you think, speak, and feel your reality into existence, right? Law of attraction. So this is just a reminder that for some of you, you are going to manifest what you really put a lot of thought and focus into. Ten of Swords, the worst is over. Seven of Cups, confusion. I feel like this mystery energy was just too much to bear. <laughs> not fucking knowing. It was too much to bear, but that's over. The not knowing is over. Now the breakthrough, there's communication or there's insight. Eight of Pentacles, again, there's a light shining down, if you can see that, right? See how there's like a light shining down? There's some type of illumination. I just heard the chosen one. Oh, sounds kind of weird, right? But it's someone's, you're chosen for the job. They're, they finally announce it. You are selected for this job. They finally announce who the promotion went to. They finally announce who, they're, who they want to be with. There's some kind of announcement of the chosen one someone being picked and beating out their competition is the point however that works okay now let's go we're gonna get some romance angel cards and we are also gonna do an extended version of this click on the link below if you would like to purchase it we are trying to focus on that first part of august but as we know it's already the 18th but still time is an illusion so you're gonna see this when you're meant to I know Virgos like things to be very precise and, you know, but it happens when it's time. Time is an illusion, right? And though we try to focus on time periods, this could have already happened. This may not have happened yet. <clears throat> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. New love. A new person is stirred your romantic feelings. I mean, the new is just screaming for you. New moon new start new love <sighs> no longer is it a mystery oh i don't know I, was, I haven't heard nothing i'm in the dark here no one's saying anything i haven't met anybody new i don't know where i stand with this job i don't know it's like uh, all of a sudden the breakthrough the breakthroughs come and it's like one after the other after the other and it's just like all of a sudden everything's just kind of like revealed but it's all new whether it's because it's brand brand new or whether it's because it's renewed, but it doesn't necessarily feel renewed. This feels new. Like I've never been in a relationship with this person. I've never worked at this job before, this company before. I've never done this before. It has that feeling to it. Engagement. <sighs> Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some of you, this new love is actually somebody that you could see yourself spending the rest of your life with. And I think that there have been contenders in the past that have come close to that, but nothing compares to this. Nothing compares, nothing compares to you. Sinead O'Connor, I know I butchered that. This is the title of your reading nothing compares to you because this is the energy i'm feeling absolutely nothing compares to this person or this opportunity or you're the one that they have to hire because nobody compares to you nothing compares to you you're the one it's you calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together unbelievable amazing energy all right 
Knight of Swords, the message comes in quickly. It kind of floats in. Could be a younger air sign, right? So that could also be it too. The, the counterpart, the other person is a younger air sign or a message comes in, whoop, just like that. Kind of floats in. I don't know what that means, but felt like it floated in. Oh, the star could be an Aquarius. Temperance could be Sagittarius. It's also balance and alchemy. Huh? This is a wish coming true. This is healing. Maybe some of you took the pain and you healed. And what it did was you transmuted that energy into a wish being manifested. You manifested it because you transmuted pain into power is my point. I hope I'm not fumbling around with the words. This is fucking powerful shit. Not everybody has that ability or power to be able to know how to transmute it's something that i try to teach people but honestly it's like law of attraction manifestation it's like eventually you just kind of get the hang of it some people are just natural born also natural born manifestors master manifestors wheel of fortune again and then also in this new cycle it's the birth of a whole new cycle of abundance some of you, it's pregnancy, right? Having a child. And it's also for some of you, just this birth of everything you've been waiting for. It happens all at once. When it rains, it pours. Meeting somebody that it's like, it's I won the lottery with them. It's a jackpot. When we say it's the lottery, it just means like it's a one in a million that this person, we joke and we say like, oh, water sign, awakened water sign meals is like hitting the lottery, right? It's like, because we joke about that. Because it's something that's rare. giving birth to something too it's giving birth it's like the universe gifting you with this new start and it's just all this new and it's really symbolic of this pregnancy because the baby is hidden in the womb now it's a mystery you can't see what the baby looks like just yet we can try and see through ultrasound and 3d imaging 5d imaging whatever but truly truly we can't really see the baby until the baby is birthed that's this it's like Virgos, you might have been able to like feel it, sort of see it, kind of, sort of, make it out, but not really. And then now it's like the birth happened and it is actually presented to you. And it's like, oh, here it is. Now you can see it for what it is. Now you know what it is. This person, this job, this situation. Here we go. Here we go. And then it's sort of like being fucking overwhelmed because it's like, oh my God, it's like everything I've ever fucking wanted. It's like everything. It's like I hit the lottery. Like I've met people in the past that have come close, but like nothing compares to this person, not this love. And it feels like a very old, old deep-seated love like really old ancient shit from past lives which we're gonna tap into I'm gonna also use the past lives Oracle deck in your extended which we'll get to right now okay I want to thank you all for your likes your shares and your subscriptions here on YouTube follow me on Instagram XI underscore Missy underscore XI and if you have TikTok follow me there with the same handle also if you want to book a reading with me please check the description box below of all of my YouTube videos and check out what I offer first before you email me and then when you email me please put it in the title of your email what it is you want so I know what to invoice you for okay all right guys i'm gonna see you in the extended love you bye